Hello, amazing artists. Today we are going to start a project that I like to call the geometric peacock. We're going to be using one point perspective and drawing uh, using a ruler and a pencil and then going back to fill it in with some different colors of crayons. So let's get started. Actually, here is what your project will look like once we're completed. All right, let's get started. I am going to start by drawing in the body of the peacock using my ruler to make a nice clean straight edge. The body kind of resembles the lowercase letter B. As you can see, I'm drawing the back of what looks like the B. And next I'll draw in the belly part. Again, this is going to be geometrical which means we are using a ruler to make the nice straight lines. There I have the body. I'm going to draw in the beak and a closed eye. Then I want to add some feathers on the head, coming off the head. The feathers are a little small, so I'm erasing them and enlarging the circles just a little bit. Okay, next I'm going to find my, my vanishing point. Since this is one point perspective, I'm just drawing a little dot inside the body. And all of the lines that I'm going to draw for the feathers are going to go be pointed towards that dot. Now I'm not drawing the line through the body that I created to begin with. I'm drawing them from the body to the edge of the paper. However, my ruler is going through that dot that I put there in the center. I'm always lining up my ruler to go through that one vanishing point, that one dot. All right, now I'm going to go back and draw in diagonal, li diagonal lines to create a little detail on the feather. Notice how I'm doing them kind of in a zigzag pattern. So where, where's one feather, I'll have the lines pointing down. The next feather, the lines will be pointing up. So they're kind of going back and forth in a, like a zigzag pattern. about eight or nine different colors of crayons to use for the feathers. I'm going to start off with one color for the body. I chose a blue because usually peacocks are like blues and greens and things like that. So I'm coloring in the body first using the blue crayon, making sure to color it nice and even, filling in all the white spaces. I'm going to color in the, the feathers that are coming off the head adding a little bit of a magenta color and then circling around them in the blue color. All right. And to make the body stand out just a little bit, I'm going to take a Sharpie and outline the body. I'm going to do that at this stage rather than waiting until I color the other feathers because when you use a Sharpie over a crayon, it tends to wear down the Sharpie very quickly and ruin the Sharpie. So I'm going to outline the body and the feathers on the head. Okay. Now I'm going to start coloring the crayon, coloring the feathers color the different stripes with different colors and make it a very colorful peacock. I've kind of kept my crayons in one order and so once I use one crayon I put it at the end of the line and work out with the next crayon so that I can kind of keep a little organization to did my best to when coloring to make sure that I never have the same color right next to that same color. So say I color it in purple, I, I don't want the next stripe next to it to be purple. You can see here I kind of offset them maybe by one, one stripe. just 
so that I don't have the same color right next to itself. And just continue coloring in the feathers, making sure they're very colorful. try really hard when doing this project to make it the best that you can make it. Make sure that you're staying within the lines that you drew. You've drawn some nice straight lines to form your peacock, so do your best to stay within those lines and um, make them nice and neat. Don't forget to sign your work.